Hey guys, it's Mike from the SEO Pub, and I uh, just want to do a short video, um, give you a tip on how to use Scrapebox to find good, high-quality backlinks for your websites. I know a lot of people out there own Scrapebox. Uh, you see people on, online all the time saying what a great tool it is, but most people don't even really know how to use it to its fullest potential. And a lot of people think it's just a blog comment spamming tool, and that's that's it. And it's really a lot more than that. So I'm going to show you how I, I use a couple of the add-ons that come with that you can get with Scrapebox um, to really find good, high-quality websites to, to leave backlinks on. So first thing I would do is enter in a keyword. Now, normally I would have a list of a couple hundred keywords, 500 keywords. Uh, just to keep this video short, I'm just going to do uh, just one keyword in here. And uh, I'm going to search for WordPress blogs. A lot of times I just do a custom footprint so I get everything. Um, but just to keep this video short, I'm just going to do WordPress blogs. And uh, we're going to do a keyword that's near and dear to my heart here, which is drinking beer. And we'll go ahead and start harvesting. And let Scrapebox do its thing. And it's getting all the WordPress blogs right now that have the keyword in them drinking beer which this could take a while there we go all right so now we have our list and what I want to do I want to remove duplicate URLs I'll keep duplicate domains I don't mind leaving uh, comments on separate pages of, of the same domain if they fit my needs but I, I'm going to get rid of all the duplicate URLs there's only seven and then uh, we're going to check the page rank of the URL. I don't care what the domain page rank is. I want to know the page rank of the specific pages where I'm going to be leaving comments. Okay. And we're going to sort it by page rank. And normally what I do, I get rid of anything that's less than usually a page rank of four. Um, sometimes I'll go down to three. It's up to you what you want to do. I don't want to waste my time with a whole bunch of backlinks. I just want the really good ones um, for this technique that I use. So I usually don't go less than three. Most of the time, not, <clears throat> actually not less than four. Um, for this video, I'm going to go down to two just to give us a couple more results. So I'm going to get rid of everything that's less than two. It's up to you what you want to do. All right, so that leaves us with 29 potential sites. Now I'm going to use one of the add-ons here, which a lot of people don't know about. It's the outbound link checker. And we're going to load up our list from Scrapebox. And go ahead and tell it to start. And what it's doing here, it's checking how many external links are on each of these URLs. Why that's important is if a page has a page rank of 4, but there's 150 comments on it and 150 outgoing backlinks, that dilutes its its link juice that it's giving to each of those backlinks and makes each of those backlinks worth a little less. So I want pages that don't have a whole bunch of outgoing backlinks. They're a little bit harder to get a backlink from. Usually they're moderated a little bit heavier, but they're a much more powerful backlink. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to filter these. I filter anything more than 30. It's up to you what you do. I know a lot of people go up to 50. Um, actually, we'll go. We'll do 50 for this. We'll do 40 for this video. But I usually go anything more than 30. I get rid of. All right, and then we're gonna save our results to Scrapebox. Exit that, and now we're left with 23 sites that we know have a page rank greater than of two or greater, and have 40 or less outgoing backlinks. Last thing we're gonna do. I want to know which of these I can leave comments on. So I'm going to load up the blog analyzer, we'll get our list from Scrapebox, hit start. And what this is doing, it tells you what platform. So if you had scraped a custom footprint, it would tell you if it's a WordPress site, a movable type site, or sometimes you get these unknown that get in there that it's, it's not any of them. Um, the other thing it does, it tells you which of these are open for comment. A no means you know, sometimes a, a page after so long it'll close for comments or it doesn't accept comments at all. Well, those are useless. I don't even want to waste my time with those. So it tells me which of those. It also says which ones have spam protection or not. Now, if you were going to use the auto commenter in Scrapebox, that would be important. What I do with these, though, 
is I do manual comment, so it's a lot less. Uh, now I do I do uh, manual comments with these, so I don't care if there's spam protection there or not, because I'm going to be going to the site myself, leaving a manual comment, and if there's a captcha or something, then I'm going to fill it out. So I don't really care if it has that or not. What we're going to do, we're going to filter, we're going to remove all the bad blogs is what you would want to do, which means it'd be any that aren't open for comments. And then we save this list to the Scrapebox Harvester. And then what you would want to do is export this list into a text file or something. And you can go through all these pages here. In this case, we had 20. Like I said, I normally weed out page rank 3 and under, but in this one I kept it. So what these are, these are 20 sites that have less than 40 outgoing backlinks and a page rank of 2 or higher. And I would go through these and manually comment. I don't use the auto poster. The auto poster is, you're not going to get, for, the, for these type of sites with high page ranks, they get hit a lot and they're usually heavily moderated so you're you're not going to get very many through if you use the auto poster what i <clears throat> what i do is the manual comments they're harder to get and a lot of them are going to be moderated and held for moderation and you'll have to go back and check a couple of days to see if your your link stuck and if it was accepted but they're a lot more powerful than just blasting out comments to a whole bunch of random sites and uh, hoping that you get some to stick and, and get some some better rankings from it. So, develop what I, what I would suggest that you do. You know, you can develop a bunch of keywords, get a huge list like this, and go through them. Get rid of the sites that don't work for you or you can't get a comment through. But always maintain your your own personal list of sites that you know. And if you start a new site or you pick up a new client and you need to get some backlinks quickly, some high quality backlinks. This is your go-to list then that you can go to and get those links from. You will find as you go through this list, some of them will be auto-approved. I save those in a separate list, the, the ones that I know are auto-approved. Then if I really need some backlinks quickly or something, I can pull out that auto-approved list of, of these high page rank sites and just go through them real quick and, and whip up some comments and, and put them in. I still do those ones manually and I still try to read the blog a little bit and leave a comment that makes sense because although it's auto approved right, you know, for the acceptance of the comment, it doesn't mean that a, a webmaster doesn't go back and, and read what the latest comments are that have been left on his site or her site and uh, and get rid of the ones that are garbage. So I still go through manually and, and put a good comment in there that's going to stick. So hope that helps you out and uh, good luck with that.